Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. Today is February 9, it is a Thursday. And my name is Master Paul, and I am a master teacher who is trained underneath Master Shah and the Soul Healing Institute, soon to be called the Tao Institute. So it's my honor to be with you here today to share with you day four in a series of Da'ai, the greatest love, how we can utilize the greatest love and the different ways that it comes to us, including some of the tools known as the Tao calligraphy that Master Shah has brought into humanity. Today I will be focusing on Da'ai for conditions of health, for maintaining and attaining optimum health. And so one of the unique things about the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah is the understanding <clears throat> that when we um, bring the, the values, the virtues, and the qualities of the Ten Da into our life, there is a natural healing that occurs. There is a natural, um, when I, and when I say that, what I mean is there is a natural uh, return to the oneness that is our source, our wellspring of life. And so as we work through this day, as we uh, connect to the different wisdom and teachings that Master Shah has brought to humanity, let us fully uh, in, 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 ingrain these ten most important virtues. Now the ten virtues that I'm referring to for those that are new are Da I, the greatest love, <coughs> Da Quan Shu, which is the greatest forgiveness. There is a Da Tzu Bei, which is the greatest compassion. And these are Mandarin Chinese words. Da means greatest. There is Da Guang Ming, which is the greatest light. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. How many of us need more of that? Da He She, greatest harmony. There is Da uh, Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. Of course, we all want more flourishing. Da Gan Un, which is the greatest gratitude. You notice that each of these carry a great virtuous value to them, a great um, model of a way of being. And the, the purpose of bringing these ten Da's to humanity is to bring oneness, is to bring uh, commonality in each and every one of our belief systems and recognize that they all, in almost every case should I say, carry these great virtues amongst them. The ninth of the ten Da's is Da Fu Wu, greatest service, and the tenth is greatest enlightenment, which is the result of fully uh, employing the previous nine in every aspect of our life. And the, the wisdom for the ten Da's is still being released through Dr. and Master Shah. Um, but as he moves forward with bringing us deeper and higher wisdoms to bring uh, balance to our life, to maintain our health and well-being, we will come to discover that by the simple practice, for example, of walking through life with gratitude, can truly tra uh, bring such huge abundance into our life, such huge um, flourishing. Um, we can comprehend that just by approaching every event with love and forgiveness that we can have huge uh, blessings in almost each moment. And so this is part and parcel of what we'll be discussing today. I want to stop and acknowledge all those who have joined me here today. And um, for those that have been watching for a while, there is one minor change in my daily live stream schedule. I am no longer going to be going live on Fridays. So tomorrow you will not see me here live. So Monday through Thursday, same time, same place, but no longer on Fridays, okay? Got to open up some room to do other activities, including uh, the possibility of webcasts. I, I uh, will be looking at developing some advanced programs for those of you that would like to have a little more uh, solid, longer-term education, the kind that will help you to really bring great shift in the various places in your life you would like to see that shift. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That will be forthcoming. So welcome, Laurie uh, Geis. Welcome, Anne-Marie. And aloha, CJ. Aloha, Julie Moffat. Great to see you from, coming in from Australia. Aloha, Kristen. Hi, Ben. Dean, staying up late. Good to see you, Dean. Aloha, uh, Kristen. And Sherry Lee. 
thanks for the notification, Sherry. I'm sure you see that I accepted your request. Uh, Aloha, Cheryl. And Angel, good to see you, Angel. Lots of beautiful posts on Facebook from Angel. Welcome, Kayla Darling and family. Aloha, Stephanie. And Samantha Brooks. Welcome, Samantha. <laughs> so, yes, uh, and Aloha, Jota. Aloha, Monica. Welcome, Master Avender. Coming in from the Toronto zone. So, today is focusing on Da'ai to maintain health, to attain the greatest return on our current health and potentially even improve it from there. So as we uh, have done in the previous, we're going to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position with the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes, let us fully connect. Dear all beings serving the plan of the light side, known and unknown, all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, respect you. Very, very grateful for all that you do for us. We thank you for the wisdom that you share with us and the guidance that you give us. We thank you for the opportunities to learn and grow in each and every day and to open up our heart to greater da'ai, greater love. We ask that you please be with us here today in whatever way is most appropriate to both uh, teach and to learn, to both bless us and to be blessed. We are very, very grateful. Thank you. Dear the soul of love, peace and harmony, source, soul song, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask all souls in all universes to turn on this source soul song and chant with us today so that we can join hearts to hearts, soul to soul, to receive the greatest blessings, guidance, and wisdom from the Da'ai, greatest love for assisting in our health. Thank you. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Oh, I love my heart and soul. <coughs> I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity.
unity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm deeply honored to be with you here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all those that have hit the share button. At least 15 of you have, and I'm very honored and grateful for that sharing. For those that have not, please consider hitting the share button. Let other people know about this uh, wisdom and service. So thank you all for coming. Today we're focusing on maintaining and retaining the optimum health. So the question becomes, what causes our health to deteriorate? What causes health uh, in, in all the different areas that it can go awry to go the wrong direction? There are different aspects to what might be called health. There is uh, physical health, of course, which includes organs and systems and all your cells and every aspect of your physical health. There is, as well, emotional health. And there are a variety of <clears throat> um, labels, I like to call them, including depression, anxiety, um, fear conditions, uh, uh, worry conditions, um, and, and many, many others that have labels. And those would be emotional, emotional health issues, <clears throat> which, of course, very often affect our physical uh, well-being. And then there is the mind uh, issues or mind health concerns and those of course are addressed by the professionals but there are some that um, they don't fall in that category for example negative mindsets negative attitudes negative beliefs these actually can create blockages for us as well one of the things that master Shah brings to the planet in his understanding of soul and soul and its impact on our life <clears throat> is that these areas of our life, the physical, emotional, the mental, are all actually impacted by the spiritual aspect of our life. The spiritual aspect includes the soul. And so when we have blockages at the level of soul, it impacts us emotionally. It impacts us mentally. It could be that the precursor to our negative mindsets, negative attitudes, and negative beliefs is residing at the level of soul or on the spiritual aspect of our life. Many people go through the first 30, 40 years of their life <clears throat> wondering what is the purpose of life. You know, they go to work, they work hard to come home, they kiss the wife, they receive their meal, they watch their favorite TV program, tuck in the kids, maybe in between they give the kids a little attention, uh, and that's on a good day. On the other days, they, they come home, they're upset from the job, the car breaks down, the water heater broke, you know, the list goes on. And so all of these, we think, is what life is about. But there are, uh, in many cases, perspectives that there's a much higher calling. And that's what I love about Master Shaw. He brings to us the calling that the purpose of life is to serve. And the purpose of serving is to return our soul and our life experiences <clears throat> back to the source of our Creator as quickly as possible. And so when we make choices to align ourselves to the to the source and to all of the attributes of the source, those attributes being virtuous conditions, such as the ten das, the greatest love, the greatest light, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest humility and harmony, the greatest nurturing, the greatest service, the greatest gratitude, greatest enlightenment, all of these virtuous conditions, all of these um, um, ways of being towards ourselves and towards others in this life experience have a direct association to our varying ways in which health can impact our health and well-being. And so one of the sources is at the level of the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Now for some of you that are new, this might be a new series of words for you. For some that have been watching me, it will be a re, uh, a re addressing of what you might have heard so you have a deeper understanding. Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that means soul. And Master Shah has added to that a deeper understanding, soul, heart, and mind. Uh, qi, 
many, many people have heard that before in the form of qi gong, tai chi, uh, qi is energy, etc. So qi literally is energy. Shen, soul, heart, mind, qi is energy. Jing, shen qi jing, J-I-N-G. Jing is matter. So in the um, traditional uh, healthcare model that is present in today's marketplace, <clears throat> we have the Western model, which looks at everything on the physical level. And they try to do their best to address it on that level. There are some excellent um, uh, chemical-based substances that can assist in modulating the imbalances at the level of matter. Those imbalances are decided through blood tests and a variety of other things. In other words, they're testing matter to discover what the imbalance is. And then they use a variety of, of matter-based materials to bring about balance as best as can happen. Then there is the <coughs> qi the energy aspects. Qi is more associated with Eastern medicines. This includes things like acupuncture, acupressure. This also includes all aspects of traditional Chinese medicine, which might include, for example, herbs and other forms, fire, massage, etc., etc. There's, of course, yoga, which comes from the East as well. And all of these uh, make many people who try it feel better because it is moving blockages related to qi. Shen is a level above that. And in, <coughs> excuse me, in the last 100 years, roughly 100 years ago, somebody woke up and they said, I believe in mind over matter, that what you believe could come true. Now, most likely that came about a little before that. But it's been acknowledged in print what is uh, uh, verifiable in the last one or two hundred years. Mind over matter. And of course, that was addressed with uh, um, a great deal of, shall we say, disbelief. Uh, there was those who spoke about mind over matter were shunned and pushed aside as ignorant. <clears throat> but it's come to be a truth that those who focus uh, on something, that it can come to fruition. Another word for that is manifestation. So we've spoken about matter, we've spoken about chi, and, and how it is addressed in the, uh, as far as maintaining health in the uh, world around us. <clears throat> Chen, which is soul, heart, mind, we just touched on mind, which fits under the category of Shen. And so what Master Shah brings is soul over matter. Uh, when you deal with things at the level of soul, then the opportunity for optimum health, for maintaining our health and well-being, is maximized. How is this so? The way it can be maximized is by first the recognition that we are a soul first. And I'm doing the blockages in my uh, wireless signal right now, so give me a second. Okay, and so at the shen level, soul, heart, mind, <coughs> excuse me, the wisdom that Master Shah brings is that soul is the precursor to the messages that come to the heart. The heart delivers the message to the mind. The mind gives the orders to the energy in the human vessel, and then the energy moves the matter. This is the order through which this wisdom has come. Master Shah has received this wisdom and he shares it with us willingly. And the point of this wisdom is to understand that if soul brings the delivery of the message to the heart, the heart then delivers it to the mind, the mind distributes it to the energy and matter to bring about whatever that condition is, it can work in two directions. Let's think about this. Let's say that the message that is brought forth to the heart is an unpleasant negative message. The heart receives that unpleasant negative message delivered to the mind. The mind now carries a negative attitude or a negative mindset or a negative belief. That negative mindset, attitude, and belief from the mind uh, is distributed to the energy of the body and is distributed to the matter. What do you think will happen to the person's health and the ability to maintain proper health? stands to reason it would dilapidate a bit, right? So the, one, of, one of the beautiful things about the wisdom that Dr. Master Shah brings to us is that when 
we recognize that soul is the carrier of message. What does that mean, that soul is the carrier of message? It means that the record of our services through this and all time. Master Shah is, uh, is a, a master of all. He carries no particular belief system. He carries no particular faith. He honors all belief systems and all faiths. It's one of the main reasons I chose to pay attention to him because he doesn't put anyone or anything into a box. He doesn't categorize, he doesn't judge, he doesn't criticize. He only sees the beauty in all things. And that's why the 10 Das have such a profound possibility of bringing such great um, healing and rejuvenation to every aspect of our life. So when we recognize that the soul brings forth and carries the messages of the pleasant and unpleasant services of all of our uh, time in all existence, then we can start to understand how that message could be negative. We don't want to have negative messages coming from our soul, but uh, in, in some in some structures, they will call it karma. In other structures, they might call it deeds. Uh, in, in some uh, systems, they call it de. But each one of them means the same thing. What you give is what you receive. If you give good, you receive good. If you, receive, uh, if you offer unpleasant, you receive unpleasant. And so sometimes the soul is the deliverer of unpleasant uh, experiences into our life because it is an opportunity to learn. This is one of the huge mistakes that we make as we move through this human experiences is we fail to learn from what is happening to our health and well-being. If we move from a place of, of exceptional maintenance and, and health to a place of um, dissolving of that and we can't put our finger on it, that's where the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us comes in. His wisdom would say that the source of that uh, unpleasantness that's happening at the level of the physical, emotional, or mental is because of the messages on your soul. And he, his wisdom would share that the way to resolve that is through the ten das, through love, through forgiveness, through gratitude, through humility, through harmonizing, harmony, through uh, light, and so many other aspects. So when you take a look at how, we, why would that occur, it makes sense. You know that the soul is the carrier of message. It's the carrier of all wonderful choices we made to ourselves and to others, and all unpleasant choices we made to ourselves and to others. So if we start making choices that encompass the 10 Das, if we start employing a lot more love and gratitude, a lot more uh, forgiveness and compassion, a lot more harmony and humility, it certainly stands to reason that it would start to dramatically diminish the negativity that the soul might be delivering as a result of the um, imbalances that it is obligated to carry forth until we learn our lessons. So as we move through this, as we uh, are hit upside the head, if you will, by life, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, it's being whacked financially or if you're getting uh, hit mentally and it's knocking you off of your, uh, your perfect maintenance and balance, <clears throat> it doesn't matter how you get hit upside the head. You want to take a look at the source of it. This is what I refer to as responsibility. The moment we step into responsibility, Excuse me. We are on the path of uh, of, of uh, being fully aligned with the highest optimum health. And so, uh, these last three days, I was utilizing one of the ten das called Da I. And in incorporating Da I, I was able to use it and assist uh, those who attended to bring about balance and. Um, blessings into their life for self-love, balance and blessings into their life for aspects of relationship blockages with others, and balance and, uh, and harmony into their lives uh, in around finances and success. Now, one, one uh, live stream like this obviously is not going to create you know, lifelong changes, but it incrementally chips away at the messages that is being carried by our soul. Once those unpleasant messages are dissolved, once they are resolved through Da I or through any of the other ten Da's, we can have a substantial shift in the 
in the exterior representation of those imbalances. So if the majority of your imbalances show up in an emotional uh, health concern or a mental or physical health concern, you can uh, start to discern clearly what the source might be. What Masha delivers is the wisdom and the tools to bring about a, a, a realignment of those imbalances back to balance. And so it's very important that this base wisdom is understood because with it you can move forward in almost every area of your life that you see is imbalanced and start bringing about a balance. The key is recognizing the source and then moving into a place of responsibility with it. Once you move into that place of responsibility, then it's just applying the wisdom and the teachings that Master Shah has brought to us. Now, <clears throat> um, I have been using this book called Soul Over Matter the last couple days, and I will utilize it again today because it incorporates a fifth power. One of the beautiful um, things that I want all of you to be able to take full advantage of as much as possible is the blessings that have been infused into books, objects, music, uh, and, and even internet uh, through Dr. Master Shah's extraordinary abilities. <clears throat> he has blessed for example, the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to bring about uh, balance in the various imbalances of our health and well-being. He has infused those into other things as well. And about two years ago, he, um, he enacted an aspect of something that he had been tossing around in his head for about three years prior to that. And that is oneness calligraphy. Now, you've heard me talk about this before, you've, you've seen me using these calligraphies, but I want you to, to get a much deeper understanding. It has become the fifth power, to give you an idea. Uh, Master Shah brought to humanity the four power technique, uh, which includes body power, where you place your hands is where energy goes. It includes <clears throat> sound power, what you chant is what you become. It includes mind power, which is creative visualization, and it includes soul power. When you bring uh, healing and transformation at the level of soul, then everything that is associated with it at the physical, emotional, and mental level also comes into alignment to match the balancing that has occurred at the level of soul. And so he had brought this four power wisdom. And then uh, after these uh, couple of years of seeing the significance of Ibitsu, oneness calligraphy, he started putting significant uh, power for bringing about this rejuvenation, this rebalancing, this um, uh, realignment of our Shen Qi and Jing blockages into the calligraphies. Now, the beautiful thing about that is believing me is completely irrelevant. Believing him is completely irrelevant. All it takes is a little practice and any disbelief turns into belief. So it's a beautiful thing, writing power. And so he has put that into books and into the calligraphies, and he has created 10 calligraphies for the 10 Da's. This one, for those that are new, is called Da I, the greatest love. And you want to think of it as, as a all-in-one tool. The kind of thing you would keep in your, in your medicine chest, so to speak. Um, you know, most people reach into the medicine chest and they'll pull out, you know, uh, isopropyl alcohol and, and all these other wonderful things that work exceptionally well for anything that's happening on, on the physical level. But we're dealing with things at the level of soul. And you've come to understand that the soul is the carrier of our imbalances. And that is what shows up to bring us out of perfection, uh, to bring us out of our imbalances in the field of physical, emotional, and mental health. And so when we reach into this tool chest of possibilities and pull out a calligraphy of all things, some people might scratch their head a little bit, but that's okay because once their toothache goes away or something like that, by simply tracing the calligraphies, their perspectives might shift a little. So we're going to use Da'ai today for serving a health issue. Now, 
I'm going to turn off all of my treasures. I will be using nothing that I have received from Master Shah to bring healing to you. I want you to feel the power only from this calligraphy. I will ask it to serve you in whatever way is most appropriate, and you will make your request. So what I'd like you to do, uh, especially if you would like to know if calligraphy power really works, I'd like you to choose something that's measurable. Uh, if you're uh, feeling nauseous, if you have a headache, if you have a toe ache, uh, if you have anything where there is an imbalance that is not optimum health, choose something that could and should be measurable. I'm going to trace this and I'm going to measure it for 10 minutes. I'll be chanting. Uh, uh, I will turn off, because uh, I have chanting treasures also, so I'll turn those off and it'll just be my voice. Um, so the only thing that could be offering any service to you is this calligraphy. I'm gonna, we're going to measure its success. This is for you, not for me. I'm already confident in, in what, uh, what power and wisdom and services has been placed into this. But you might find some significant value. And the beautiful part about this is you can then avail yourself of, of getting one of these books or a calligraphy card or whatever you want to do to bring about healing for yourself. Okay, you can share it with family and friends. You can share it with anyone you like. And if they say, well, does it really work? You can simply give them an example like what I'm giving you today. All right. So what I'd like you to do is make your request and it would go something like this. Dear all the blessings that Master Shah has put in this Da I calligraphy that Master Paul is holding up. I appreciate you very much. You can say I love you. You can say whatever is comfortable for you. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to receive your blessings for my condition. And you would state your condition. Heaven can hear you. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, before I trace this, I am going to walk you through a forgiveness practice because it is one of the most important aspects of the teachings and wisdom that Master Shah has brought to humanity. <clears throat> so if you are comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all the souls that I may have brought harm or suffering to, physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually, in this and all time, especially for this condition that I have requested, please forgive me. I understand a little bit more today how spiritual debt works, that I might have been receiving a message of discomfort or imbalance in this area, and you would state your area, because of a choice that I had made in a different time that I would definitely not do today. I would not harm any others today. I would deeply appreciate the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now I will trace this on your behalf. <clears throat> all my Dallin's treasures turn off. All my chanting treasures turn off. Everything turn off. Uh, please, all of the holy beings in this um, calligraphy, as appropriate, please offer their re towards their request. Thank you. Ten minutes. Let us begin. Die, die. Die, die. I'm going to ask the calligraphy to serve me as well. Please bless me with some sinus blockages and a slight headache that I have. Die, 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 die. Woo, sure die. Wu Tiao Jian I melts all blockages, purifies the heart and soul. For those that are just tuning in, you are receiving a blessing, so just make a request. Close your eyes and receive for a specific area that is in discomfort at this time. Dai Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua 
在难，信心生命，一世代。Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Die, die, 无条件爱。融化灾难，信心生命。And I will chant silently and trace on your behalf. And I want you to visualize in the area of request, golden light. If it was an emotional request, visualize the golden light in your heart center. Same thing for a mental request. Visualize the golden light as I continue to chant. <coughs> Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies the heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love. Please awaken my heart and soul. Please awaken my love. Die, die. Blesses and aligns everything. Da I da I. Blesses and aligns everything. Wu Tiao Jian I. Wu Tiao Jian I. Wu Tiao Jian I, Wu Tiao Jian I. Five more minutes. Yi Shi Da I, Wu Tiao Jian I, melts all blockages. Purifies my heart and soul. Die, die. Blesses everyone's request. Brings balance and alignment to the physical body. Die, die. Blesses everyone's request. Blings balance and integration to everyone's emotional body. Die, die. Balances and rejuvenates, brings balance and alignment 
to everyone's mental body. Isher Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nam Xin Xin Shen Ming Isher Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nam Xin Xin Shen Ming Greatest Love Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love melts all blockages purifies the heart and soul. Isher Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nam Xin Xin Shen Ming Two minutes. Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, balances my heart and soul, <coughs> integrates and rejuvenates. Aligns and brings balance to my mental, physical body, to my emotional body. Da I die blesses my special request. Da I die. Blesses my request. Isher Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nang Xin Xin Shen Ming Balance my physical body, <clears throat> balance our emotional body, balance our mental body, balance our spiritual body, balance our physical body, balance our mental body. Balance our emotional body, balance our spiritual body. Die, die, <coughs> greatest love. Thank you, thank you. All the special blessings, we are so very grateful for all the blessings you have sent. We are so very grateful for Da I E Bitsu calligraphy. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I invite everybody to check in with their requested conditions and re-measure 
roughly an imbalance, <clears throat> let me know what the integration was for you. Was there a realignment that occurred? <clears throat> what were you before? Were you a 8 before and now you're a 6? Were you a 10 and now you're a 2? Uh, what was the imbalance? And how are things now? Go ahead and share, please. And so, Monica, I see you just joined us. So the blessing just completed, but you're welcome at the end of this to go back. Uh, I hope you watched the whole thing. There was a, a lot of good wisdom in advance of the blessing that helps you further understand the value of the blessing and how you can bring more uh, blessing and balance to your life in the future by employing the wisdom. And I offer the same information to Victoria. Uh, it sounds like she just came in as well. <clears throat> so, uh, Master Shaw is a world-renowned uh, healer. He is a doctor of Eastern and Western Chinese medicine. And he is trained and studied under the greatest uh, masters of the East. So he became a Grand Master in Tai Chi, uh, I Ching, Feng Shui, uh, Qigong, uh, trained with a Shaolin monk. He is very, very um, talented, I guess is a good way to put it. And he carries the unique abilities and authorities to transmit um, a power and frequency that has the ability to bring about for us uh, uh, on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual level uh, integration of balance and the maintaining of our health and well-being. <clears throat> and so for those that are new to this, uh, my greatest encouragement for you is to pick up any one of his 20 books. Uh, 10 have reached the New York Times bestsellers. And um, they can enlighten you substantially um, as to why uh, we have the sufferings that we have. What is the source of those sufferings and how uh, the application of this wisdom and things like this special calligraphy can bring about healing and transformation. Because when we clear the imbalances at the level of soul, remember the soul is the carrier of all good and unpleasant experiences. So if we're having unpleasant experiences, as we're having the label that's called the pain, uh, if we're having any of these things in our life, it's a physical, emotional, mental imbalance, and it originates at the level of soul. And so one, the more you learn about that, the more you learn how to dissolve those imbalances at the level of soul, then what happens is the physical, emotional, and mental bodies come back into alignment and you, you are able to maintain the highest health at that point. Okay? I'm going to read some of the comments. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, Monica, I would recommend um, coming to my Facebook page and, uh, and scroll back, scroll through them until you see the one that was for Tuesday. It is using this wisdom and practices specifically for relationships. And watch the whole thing and then do the practice with the soul of your child. Um, your child does not have to be in the room. You can just do it with the soul of your child. And you could, uh, could potentially see some resolve come to that relationship. Um, it's it's perfectly makes sense to do it more than once, uh, simply because if anything is long standing, then that means there's some deep imbalances going on there, and you want to apply as much of this um, uh, empowerment to bringing about balance as possible. So Dean says thank you, blessings and light. Victoria shares her condition. I've given some guidance there. Um, Ma, I know I'm going to pronounce your name wrong. Maj, Maj. Uh, I feel my chakras vibrating. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, Kristen says, started with discomfort level, probably a six or seven, maybe a four now. The pressure is less in her head and actually feels a little lighter. Good. Yeah, I'm about the same. I started out about a four and I'm about a one and a half, two right now. And so uh, these, it's, it's amazing though that all that happened was I opened a book and put my hands on, a, on an image uh, of a calligraphy. In history, people have not received realignment of their Shen Xin Jing blockages by doing that. Um, not that it's ever been discovered anyway. And, but here, with 10 minutes, there is uh, approximately a 50% um, differential 
in roughly 10 minutes. That's not small. Uh, huge hugs from Elizabeth. Linda says her request was neck pain. It was a seven, now it's a four. So that's about a 40% differential. Elizabeth says back pain went from four to two. That's a 50% differential. Thank you. Um, Zilke, I requested a blessing for my kidneys. Now I can better breathe, feel a better mood, and more light in the brain. Wonderful. Excellent sharing. Christina Barker, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to be with you. Countless bow downs. My pleasure, Christina. Thank you for joining. And then Lori says lower back was about a five and now it's a one. So that's about an 80% differential, all from an image. So it goes to show you that there's more than just the image. Master Shah is an extraordinary being and with the ability to put um, and transmit power into things like these Ibiza calligraphies, <clears throat> we can have significant shift in our life. So this uh, method is utilizing the calligraphy called Da Ai. Next week I'll be focusing on Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. So CJ says, I felt a tingling sensation, so now I had this goosebumps, energy flowing rapidly. Thank you for this wonderful blessing. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Katina, you just came in. Highly recommend you watch this again. If you're new, you can hit at the end of this subscribe, and uh, you can always go to my page and watch it. Um, do try to watch the whole thing, Katina, because the, the wisdom leading up to the blessing is very insightful as to why it works. Um, Brianna, she requested a blessing for her right SI joint as it was bothering her again uh, at a point of a seven and she felt extra hands helping the area and uh, stitching afterwards and she says that the discomfort is fully resolved. Congratulations. Sounds like you need to get yourself a calligraphy book, Brianna. Uh, Leonie says, Dear Master Paul, she requested a blessing to transform the root blockage connected to the cold that she has and she believes is a blockage in her middle jowl. The middle jowl, for those that are new, is the space in between the navel and the uh, sternum. <clears throat> and um, and that, that whole space in there. And she says, uh, the blocked upper jowl, pain in the chest. Uh, she feels, let's see, let me read this correctly. Breathing became very deep, filled her whole body. She felt a three jowl area, all three jowls open up. My sore throat has eased, head has cleared, and she feels much better. Countless, countless bow downs uh, to the uh, Dao calligraphy. Truly amazing healing power. Uh, thank you, Mash. Uh, you're welcome to watch. My, I'm, I'm live every day, Monday through Thursday. For those that didn't hear, I'm, I'm not live anymore uh, Monday through Friday. Now only Monday through Thursday. Times are the same, though. Same time uh, every day of the week. And you can go back and watch the earlier videos from this week which incorporated uh, blessings from the same calligraphy for relationships and for finances. Uh, so highly recommend those. So I truly appreciate all the sharings. The key that I want you to grasp is that I turned off all of the healing transmissions that I have, which are substantial. They can make a significant difference. And even with that, there was a, a minimum of 40% and a maximum of 100% differential from the imbalance back to normality. That's pretty substantial when all of you are roughly 2,000 miles away because uh, I'm in the middle of the ocean and all I'm doing is opening up a book and moving my hand across an image. This master, Master Shah, truly has something to offer everybody and he has no desire to change your perspective, your belief system, anything that you believe in, by all means, please maintain it. He only wishes to bring the 10 Das to humanity, the greatest love, light, forgiveness, compassion, the greatest humility, the greatest service, the greatest gratitude, and the greatest harmony, the greatest enlightenment. And that is what I will be sharing with you through my live streams. For those that are interested in individual blessings for aligning your Shen Qi and Jing, if you have significant suffering in the physical body, significant suffering in the emotional and mental body, I can share with you that these blessings do make a substantial difference. Uh, I have years and years and years of uh, validation for that and many, many students who would also validate for that. The difference between using uh, what you just experienced in the calligraphy and receiving it from a master teacher like myself is that we are able to use very special services to uh, um, 
that, that Master Shah has given us the ability to utilize. And it creates a clearing of those blockages I spoke about at the level of soul much, 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 much faster. And therefore, the reflection of those imbalances that show up in our physical, emotional, mental body will be much more rapidly released as well. Okay? So if you'd like to know more, you can contact me through Facebook or through my website. Uh, through Facebook, you just send me a message. Um, and also on my website, uh, you can, of course, go to it. It's listed above this video, and you can contact me through there as well. Okay? So I will not be here tomorrow. No longer uh, doing live streams on Friday. I will return on Monday. I will be focusing on Da Quan Shu. I will be focusing on that for the most important areas of our life to ensure that we're able to maintain the optimum health in every area of our life. I love you. We thank all beings of light who came today. We thank the soul of the Ibiza calligraphy and all the countless blessings in there that assisted us today. And we thank Master Shah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. All souls respectfully return. I will see you on Monday. Bye bye, everybody.